boy, you got some, you got some great. I just don't want to be with you when you got to carry these <laughs> things out. I just, uh, my my young and stupid days are behind me, and uh, you know, to be hauling out monsters like that and that. I mean, nowadays I just I just look at them. I go, ooh, yeah, that'd be sweet, but not me, brother. No. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, you're, I can't believe you're getting this stuff out with uh, a handsaw. Right. Just you, you lag too much stuff up up in the swamp. I mean, you this one's rusted, but yeah, you bring too much into the into the swamp. You, yeah, you you don't have enough hands to carry no, trees with. No, you make you make slippery trips. <laughs> No, I actually have, you ever seen one of these uh, type of backpacks that hunters right. carry to carry the meat out? It's right. basically a, an empty frame with straps. The external frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah external yeah. external frames with straps, on, straps right. on it. Because you do need your hands free when, you, when you're in the swamp because, and I tell people, look, don't, don't go across. Look, you got 20 feet here between here and there. Yeah. Don't, no, no, no. I don't Find care it. if you got to you, right. you follow the roots of the trees right. and you walk because this looks fine and right. you get out there six feet and you sink up to your waist. You yeah. got nothing to grab hold right. of. And I'm sorry, I ain't coming out there after you. You know, you're on your own. <laughs> right. I've been through that. I had a, uh, I was, was a little, found a little place off of Old Hammond Highway just before you get to Ponchatoula. It goes across the railroad tracks. Now they got the railroad tracks go all the way along up along this Lake Ponchy train. And you, you rarely can you find any place to get over those railroad tracks because they dig deep ditches on both sides right. to build right. up the ground to right. put the railroad tracks on. But I found this road that went over the railroad tracks and I'm like, oh okay, great, great. And they've got like a little spot, you know, I mean maybe a little bit further from us to that, that tree right, right. there. Oh, and there's some great cypress over there. Right. I was like, okay, all right. And I got my chest waders on, and you know, I'm walking, I'm walking. it's getting deeper and deeper. But I'm like, you know, halfway, and it's just to my waist. I'm going, I got this. But, but you know, you're also sinking down, right. you know. You're also not carrying trees. No, you're not carrying trees. <laughs> and you know, I take one step, and then I'm, I'm like, I'm sunk in the muck. I'm up to my armpits. The chest waders have filled up with water, and I'm going, oh, the expletives that are coming out of my mouth. And I, then I start looking around because I can't pull my right. feet out. Right. And I'm looking around for a branch to try to grab hold of that I can. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I just keep struggling. And I kind of look over, and, and there's a head of an alligator. <laughs> now, not a, you know, I mean, he's maybe, you know, Five, four or five foot, not a big, I mean, the head's like this big, you know, but still, I'm like, was that the next thing to grab? No, no, <laughs> then I was like, then I saw him and I'm like, I'm like, get out of here, ah, and I start splashing, yeah, yeah. okay, all he does, all the head does is this, <laughs> and I'm going, okay, <laughs> this was, that was not the smart thing to do, and so then I'm like, now I don't know where he's at. Okay, right. it was fine when I knew we were, where he was at. And now I'm like, okay, I don't, look, I'm just gonna have to, I guess I'm gonna have to get out of these chest waders, you know? And I'm, I'm struggling, I'm starting to unstrap, I'm getting stuff, I'm trying to pull my feet up out of the boot because right. everything compresses. Right. And then and I look up, there's two. There's two. He recruited there's, a buddy. That was it. Uh, those. Well, how good were those the trees? Hip, the hip, who cares? <laughs> Those hip waders, they're still there. I swear to God, those hip waders are still, because I came out of those suckers like there was no tomorrow. There, there was just water in the hip waders though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not saying what kind of water, but there was definitely water in the, in the hip Liquid. waders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, look, what, what's been your take, real quick, what's been your take of the page? How long have you had it up, and what's been your take of it thus far? Uh, I think it went up like a year ago a year, I was a, like a year ago, September, so almost okay. a, a little over a, a little over a year. Right. A little over a year. I've been shocked, A, at how many people are interested in bald cypress, hmm. but more so uh, because it's a tree that's native to the U.S. Hmm. But there's people in Australia, 
India, right. Vietnam, Spain, um, right. that are growing balls. Why are y'all getting these things? We're growing them from seed. We're, it's like, it's oh crazy. my God. We and take it for granted. Are, yeah, and, the, and, and the, they're making absolutely gorgeous bonsai. Right. Uh, un unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, I just, my hat goes off to them. Yeah. People that will, that love a, a species that much on the other side of the planet yeah. that are going to get seeds from somebody and start start growing these things. Yeah. Uh, it, it's phenomenal. And they're doing great, great work. Well, great I know I can speak for everybody that, that sees your work, sees your efforts that you put into passing on the knowledge that you've gathered throughout the years and just say thank you for all the willingness to, to have spent so much time with the species and, and to share that with us. Um, book, next few few months, yeah, half a year yeah. maybe. Uh, you know, knock on wood. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's, uh, I've got a publisher lined up. Um, you know, it's, every, it's just like yesterday, I was going through, I was rereading this section, I'm going, oh, I forgot this, I need to put this. Yeah. So then comes another, like, then that expands into like, you know, three more pages. Right. Uh, and uh, and I still like today, uh, you know, doing a workshop up in Baton Rouge, and I'm driving out of the parking lot, and there's a pond cypress. I'm going, oh, like I don't have enough photographs right. of the pond cypress, right. but I'm out there, photo, and they're all heading to lunch. Go, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'll be with you in a minute. And I'm taking pictures of the foliage and the bark yeah. and all this kind of stuff. But it's just, you know, bonsai is um, it's just that art form that people. Uh, they love they they're they, they're passionate about mm. and uh you know it's it's man, it's like crack you, you know it's it's highly addictive that's right you know <clears throat> it's something that i love and i'm just yeah i'm people were nice enough and kind enough to share mm. their knowledge and skill with me over the years and i just want to pass that pass that along to other people wherever they may be you know well, I know I appreciate you, Mr. Randy. I know several people online and, and people that have had the privilege to meet you, workshop or just passing through. I know they've had such the same pleasure. So yeah. I appreciate well, you. I appreciate you, Nate. Yeah, brother. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks All a right. lot, man. Yes, sir. Okay.